seems to be recording when my sons are playing with our with Daniel. I hope that little heater isn't too loud for y'all. It actually is getting cold a little bit here and my husband always leaves it super cold anyway, but on with it. So I wanted to show y'all how I was intending to use the printable for this month. I'm wondering if this is actually really three by four because I put it at actual size and I made it when I designed it or whatever. I did it right, I thought. Let's just, see. I'm just going tabletop. <laughs> I'm going straight to tabletop today because I want to make sure I get this filmed. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if this is really three inches. You know what, I think it is. Sometimes I just, you know it is. It looks bigger for some reason. And I have seen Brie from Documented Journey shared her journal insert where she used this and I just love seeing them. I love it. And then Bonita shared her uh, page where she used the this card right here, which I'm going to show you what I was intending to use with that. But I think, I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to use this soon. And then I did these babushka owls, which I thought they were kind of cute. And since they look kind of wintry, I think I'm gonna, because I still have not documented, I always got a frame, don't I? I still have not documented my, when my children, I have the pictures printed out of when my kids went ice skating. And I really wanna get that down because that was a really fun day. And I have not been very good at journaling lately. If y'all hang out with me, if you're a hangout person, y'all have heard me sobbing about that. <laughs> but I, I have been journaling, but look, 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 look progress report so I have been journaling but it's just been words because I've been a little overwhelmed recently so I've just been gushing a bit see so anywho I have been journaling I just have not been very good with the documenting with pictures and stuff but that's okay at least I'm journaling right so I thought with these cute little guys I could since they were kind of like the same like wintry looking with ice and stuff I thought I could do something fun with them across the page or something. Just glue them in would be fun. But what I was really excited about was this. Now you could, let me get it, let me get it. Got some fall stuff in there too. You could, if you wanted, just cut out the square, or not square, I know what this is. It's a rectangle, what am I doing? You could cut out the rectangle. Whoops, I almost chopped off the owl's head. See, like so, like so. And just tip it in with like with it being kind of a longer, what you would call it, a longer tip in. You could do that, that'd be cool. Or, see this, I intentionally made it less than six inches because I wanted to show you what I wanted to do with it because I was real excited about it. So what I wanted to do was make this actually the, the body of it like a journal card. So I'm going to cut around it and I'm going to leave a little bit of space around her body so you get the idea. And I'm not going to go way in that spot because Whoops, I think I cut chopped part of her head off. That's okay. <laughs> well, her bun, whatever that thing is. It's like this weird hairstyle that <laughs> we now have. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of hairstyle that is. But anyway, so I'm going to cut around her a bit. Like, so I hope y'all can see this. I have my new settings on my camera. So hopefully it's adjusting for light and stuff. I thought this was kind of a fun little tip in. I'm cutting around, boom, just like that. So I was gonna cut around her, and then what I was gonna do is use washi tape to adhere her to one of the sides. You could do really any side because I tried, intentionally, I tried to keep the this part 
pretty straight so that you could washi it. And then on the other side, I wanted to put a picture on the back and then cut the silhouette of it. So let me print a picture real quick and it's going to be more of an artistic kind of a picture, not so much a dark documented picture, but just something to kind of paste in the back. So I'm gonna print that out real quick. It is printing out now. Whoops, there goes something off my thing. I'm printing out my eyeball. <laughs> I wanted to do something kind of artsy on the back. And then I was gonna say too, if you, I wanted to try to do this on, what do you call it? Transparency paper, because they have the kind that you can print out on your printer. Uh-oh, what's, paper size is not incorrect. It's, oh, I'm getting frustrated with my selfie, y'all, because sometimes, it did this last time and I had to reset it and it said paper size is incorrect and it's not incorrect. There's no other size of paper you can use. Oh my goodness. Some other person had this problem too. So, see the, the thing that makes me mad about it is that it wasted a whole thing of film just now. Did you hear the bee? That was a whole picture, a film picture, what do you call it? A whole thing of film for one picture just got wasted because it thought this was the wrong size paper. What I was gonna say was you can take, I keep doing that, sorry. You can take this, printable and printed on transparency, which is kind of fun to layer things. It'd be really fun to layer this thing um, or the owls even, or this the title. But see, I just printed my eyeball out. This is an iPhone picture. I took that with my phone. And so what I'm going to do is this. I'm not vain or anything. I just want an artsy fartsy picture to use for the back of my thing. So my intention was to put the picture on the back of this thing. So I have to do it like this though. So I want the iris in there. So I'm just gonna trace this. I know it might seem kind of wasteful, but I think it'll look kind of cool. This is what my idea was when I was creating this thing. Okay. So I think that will, yes. Yeah. So just kind of cut the ends towards the inside of this. Okay, so I have the eyeball. I swear I'm not part of the Illuminati or anything. And I'm gonna paste it on the back of this. And then when you flip it, oh, there's an eyeball right there. I don't know, it looks kinda artsy. You could do like a landscape if that creeps you out, but <laughs> it's just what I had recently on my phone. And it'll be funny to me to even look back on my journal and be like, oh, that's when I put that eyeball picture on the back of the journaling card. Okay, so I'm gonna use, um, Ooh, I should use my new tape gun. Look what I got. Well, it's not really new. It's just new to y'all because you have not seen it yet. I got this huge, big old ATG for advanced tape glider. I feel like a professional taper now. So it's basically just a tape runner glue thing. And it's like super strong. I use this, I bought it because I was making a journal sketchbook thing for Jennifer Harvey for her birthday and I needed massive amounts of tape runner. And I was like, you know what, with a coupon, it is kind of expensive still, I'm not gonna lie. It was like regularly $40 or something like that. But I used a coupon, so. 50% off is not too bad. Okay, so that's, and it does, it holds really, really good. So this is the back of that card. And I'm just gonna paste down my, ah, see it's super sticky. Maybe I have to do the top first. Yes. We'll do this. Yeah, there. I don't, I don't mind if some of it's hanging off. You could probably trim that if you wanted to. I might wash you right there, so it's not gonna really matter. But yeah, and then what you can do 
Because with the same India ink pen, you could even write journaling stuff over the picture, which I might do, like a poem or something. And then here, of course, is journaling space to write on. When I was doing this girl, my idea was to have some sort of like picture on the back and then to journal on the front and then just tip it in like that. So it'd be just this fun tip in and maybe I'll do that, like finish it and post a picture for y'all or a little sm small video clip or something. You know what, this is bugging me just a little bit. Hold on, I'm just gonna trim it. It's not hard to trim it at all. See, just kind of go around like so. I'm just kind of, like fingernail clippings you know when you when you clip a fingernail it goes flying in your eyeball or across the room or something and then yeah so yeah that's it that's what I wanted to show you with that the other stuff again is just you know just what you think these were kind of fun I love owls oh as you know uh, hello I have an owl tattooed on my body so they're really awesome I also foxes are good runner up and oh my gosh uh, manatee hello manatees are like up there in the top so those are like my favorite animals. I love all animals, honestly. So yeah, these little owls are fun. You can just cut those out. And then I, again, I was hoping that I could use, print out this also on acetate, but the package of acetate that I saw at the store was $80. And I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. So I'll have to wait. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna do something fun with this. And for sure, I'm excited about this a lot. So hopefully this will give you a an idea how to get on to the guys. They were being so loud. <laughs> this will give you an idea about my vision behind these journaling card girls and kind of what I was thinking of. Now you could put something else behind here. You could put a piece of scrapbook paper. You could, you know, paint it, paint the back. You could leave it blank. But I thought it was kind of fun to do like this, this like silhouette with a, a picture. Thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna try to get on and film another exclusive video for y'all with some journaling stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to get on quick and show you this and hope y'all are doing well. Please share your pictures with us on the community tab of this Patreon uh, page of my Patreon profile. I would love, love, love to see your stuff. And yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye. Oops, what's this? Oh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just going nuts. You? <laughs> oh my goodness.